Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's inspired in the current abundant Taurus season we are on. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box or you can email me with your questions and if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the paypal link which is also down below so <clears throat> scorpio i do feel like um there's a lot of interesting chemistry um with you and with the things that you're creating and with the people you're integrating there's a sense of connectedness with um things you're a part of during this time there's really suiting and at the same time it's suiting to your soul and at the same time creatively inspiring you creatively making you wonder about perhaps taking a certain direction with your life that you wouldn't consider a couple of months ago so there's things about the month of may that are very inspiring and that are making you see that maybe there's much more possibilities out there for things for you to do to explore to see than um what you have felt it possible to there's something about some of you scorpios not feeling like certain things were possible or were a part of your life and your future and now you're seeing that you're completely um in the right and deserving of beautiful connections, of success, of um, joy, of having moments of happiness. For some of you, of having children, I feel like there's some 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 Scorpios here that the energy of children is important in the month of May, meaning that either you had had issues, you know, having a child. It could be like for Scorpios that have struggled with infertility or in finding perhaps here the partner you know to have to start a family with um i feel like some of you either just recently met someone or are in a relationship that is going to bear fruit so where there's going to be for many of you children involved or now that you look at the child you the child you have or the children that you have or the family that you're building um you understand the um you know the journey that took you that took you to this direction the journey that took you to this moment in time where you acknowledge that your life and your experiences have this purpose this meaning that you can't um, ignore or you can't deny. There's something undeniable about the month of May in the sense that, and this undeniable energy is about something that is really positive. So undeniable success, undeniable love and passion and chemistry, undeniable, you know, um, positive social interactions. There's a boost to your confidence and to your self-esteem that it's also being uh, indicated as a main source of why many things could be turning to your favor, why many things could be just, you know, shining bright for you. The month shines bright for many Scorpios, especially Scorpios that are understanding that, you know, your world and your life and your journey is about spiritual expansion as well. That it's about, for some of you that have been in, in very limited or narrow-minded perspectives and concepts of life, I feel like spirituality is such a, an aid, is such a help. There's so much assistance through how you connect to spirituality aside of what kind of beliefs you have, what systems you use, you know, what for you divine energy means, if you are you know, a believer or not, if you're religious, if you're a, philosoph a philosopher, if you're you know, a spiritualist of any kind, a healer of any kind, it doesn't matter what you believe in. It matters that there's a, a belief 
that has been supportive of the expansion of your journey that now translates itself into you seeing expansion also in your physical reality, in the material reality where things grow and things are solid and you can identify all the spiritual truth in events in front of you. For many of you, it's also about the month of May. It's about, it's about seeing something coming true that has to deal with the belief. So many, many of you, your faith has been tested, but you haven't given up. And so you're finding what the sun represents to you. As I said, for some of you, it could have been, you know, here issues with children. Maybe there was a scare with a child or was um, you, you faced, you know, some infertility issues that, you know, you feel like a miracle. It's almost like feeling like something you have been struggling that has, again, been a spiritual test for you. Feeling like suddenly, you know, a miracle or a very, very, very positive situation uh, happened, interfered positively, and it makes something come true, and it is making something is making something come true that you didn't believe, or that was where there was really low expectations of it coming true. For Scorpios, obviously, that don't have children. This just could just be that maybe you have wanted to have children, but again, there hasn't been, you know, many matches for you to start a family. So for some of you, this is also about, you know, the desire to find a partner in life, uh, a desire to find someone that aligns with your values and this alignment of values you know is, is is so much represented here by spiritual um engagement that it's similar um i feel like for some of you scorpios that are single again don't give up and scorpios that are single and that really have the desire the hope to find someone um, to start a family with or to start, you know, a positive journey, let's put it that way, with, you know, it's coming. Don't give it up. I feel for some of you it could be far from you. So it could be like, there could be a physical distance here. Or for others of you that just could, there, there might need to be arrangements with the two of wands here. There might be some, you know, decisions in your life path that are required. Things that you need to choose and decide upon before, you know, this true, beautiful flame can come in. This is almost like, for those of you that this is about your love life, it's almost like your love life is on hold until you make an important decision with the Two of Wands about the direction of your life path. For some of you, between now, so Taurus season, up until August, there's a beautiful arch of time to, you know, attract and magnetize to you so many good things. So the success you want, the marriage you want, the children you want, the work you want, the creative inspiration you want, the trip you want, you name it. I also feel like for many of you, there's something here about advisors, especially elders. So you can have here someone, you know, wise that you're consulting during the month of May to understand a little bit more about that decision that I was speaking about or, you know, a direction that you should take to continue the expansion in your life, being the expansion of your family, the expansion of your potential, of your creative pursuits, you know, of your life. Many of you are also here in a, with a big, bright, almost burning desire to explore the world so there's also here a percentage of scorpios that have this incredible desire 
to explore, to travel, to see different places, to get in contact with different cultures, with different elements outside of, you know, your usual ones. Um, there could be a defensiveness about you and about your decisions, meaning that at times I feel like some of you Scorpios will be called to be fierce protectors of this, you know, beautiful bliss and blessings around, meaning that protectors of your family, protectors of your lover, protectors of your work, protectors of, you know, it's like protectors of your kingdom, actually. Not to say that I feel like there's a very negative force around, you know, around you, but I feel like there's, um, there's um, a level of, um, how you call it, animosity towards your success, towards uh, the things you're building and conquering and living right now, especially the very positive things. There's a level of animosity, envy around it that um, can make you uh, get into trouble at times. Energetically, there's this, for some of you, there's, there's like a situation in, a, in the month of May where there's this energetic, very, very palpable tension. And pay attention to this. If it's with a person or an environment, when you feel this palpable tension, I feel like you're, you know, experiencing or feeling here the jealousy, the envy, or the discomfort that your light and your happiness and your success creates to this to this outside force so it's like a way of you noticing who's with you and who's not who is cheering with you and who is not for some of you you're entering a very beautiful gorgeous phase in your life i feel like there could be the announcement here of a marriage or again of a birth of a pregnancy and the announcement of a very positive thing in your life is, is what's going to be also, you know, putting light into darkness, meaning that where there is, you know, unwanted energy, you're going to be recognizing, it's going to be very evident to you from whom or from what Scorpios need protection. So I hope you have a great month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below and hopefully we'll see each other soon.